Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Technic video. This video is yet again all about dimension but it's rocker cards. Now rocker cards have been around a very long time and I got introduced to them all oh, maybe about 12, 14 years ago and I love them because it's something that anybody can do. You don't need to have any measurement and believe me all you need is a plate because I don't know about you I can't draw circles can you? If you can draw a perfect circle, then go for it. But to get started, okay, when it comes to rocker cards, the flexibility is endless. Are you ready? Okay, so let me move it down so you can see what I'm doing. So just to show you where I'm starting off with. So all I've got is a piece of card, as you can see, and a side plate. Lay the plate on to the centre and draw around it. It's as simple as that, everybody. Now, obviously, if you've got different size plates, you can draw around it to get different size rocker cards. And now I'm going to lift this up like so. And you can see it's got a perfect circle there. Yes, you can then cut it out. However, for today's promotion, what we have is we have our Art Deco. And I'm totally in love with Art Deco. It's Art Deco month. So I am using the Art Deco promotions. Now, if you think, well, why have you cut out a little section like that? Now, the reason why I'm so saying that is there's two different types of rocker cards. So you have a rocker card like so, where you've actually drawn around it and then fold it in half. And this is using my lovely Journey to Wonderland. And that creates a rocker card like so. Or you can cut out the side of it and make your own rocker stepper card. And it is very easy. If you are doing it like so from this bit, all you need to do, okay, as you can see, I've drawn around it. And then on here, because this is using the promotion, everybody, you've got broken lines and straight lines telling you where to cut. But just to show you how easy it is to do, all I'm doing is taking a paper trimmer. I love scoring with my paper trimmer. You can use an embossing board if you want to and an embossing tool. I'm using a stylus. I'm lining up the line because this image is taken off my gorgeous collection of Art Deco Dimensional Fun. And what I'm doing is it telling me where to score. So I'm scoring those steps very easily like so. And if you want to do a stepper card, all you need to do, so you can see I've done that, and you've got the straight lines there. You literally take your pair of scissors and cut like so. So if you were doing this from scratch, all you would need to do is score it across the centre like so. And then what you would do is then just cut that at an angle. And the reason you do that is because I've rescored this. You would make a little stepper by fitting it in like so. And then you've got that lovely symmetrical edge and that is the start off of your rocker card it can't be any easier now as i said i'm using the promotion that we have on this month okay I'm using my art deco i have my topper there and it also has some sentiments some extra uh, embellishments and ribbon strips and all i'm doing with this collection is putting it all together so i'm going to fix that just along there like so. So always start with the back elements when it comes to your rocker cards. And then the other thing to remember with rocker cards, you need to make sure that you use um, balance each side. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm using my three in one glue. Make sure you put it where you want to. My top tip is always cut from the back. That way you get a lovely edge. So I'm just going to cut at a round the edge like so, so it goes all the way along. And then I have got my main topper. That's going to sit like so. And I am not going to put any foam pads on. The reason being is I don't want to put too much weight on it because I want it to be balanced, which means I'm going to have that on there like so. So at the moment, you can see it's heavy down on one side. So you need to put something on the other side. So I'm going to put this happy birthday. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue and you can use your um, double sided tape, any of these adhesive. I find glue better so I can wiggle it into place and it's starting to balance a little bit, but I still need something else. So I'm going to put this like so that says with love. And yes, again, I'm not using foam pads. You can if you want. I've used some glitter already on the elements. And now you'll find that it balances beautifully, like so it can rock. And this is the beauty about rocker cards. 
it balanced greatly but if you don't want it to rock all you need to do is cut the back part off so if I just cut that totally straight like so it now doesn't rock it stays like so but then we have a rocker one like that now remember it is a quick technique everybody you can have it as a rocker card and let me just show you some other ideas so once you go from here you can go into christmas christmas cards as rocker cards are brilliant whoops make sure you open it and you can see that we've done it as a stepper we've got one here as a santa claus same thing rocker cards i showed you that one earlier that one isn't got a stepper so that's straight you can have so much fun with this technique everybody so just remember if you don't have a template to start off with just draw around a side page when it comes to rocker cards it always is the base that's important so i hope you enjoyed that little technique have a go and happy crafting